us headed to the lake. It's a nice, brisk 32 degrees right now. Going for a little afternoon bass fishing, crappy fishing, whatever I can come across. Headed down to Heiko, Heiko Lake, North Carolina. If you're unfamiliar with Heiko, that is a power plant lake. It's always been a good winter fishing hole. But over the past couple of years, they've not discharged as much hot water into that body of water. So fish is more like a normal lake, but if you catch those days when they are discharging water in the winter time, it can be really, really good. The lake's got some big fish in it. It's got a lot of fish in it. So we'll give it a try this afternoon. Stay tuned. We should bring you some more action. Guys, we are here, ladies and gentlemen. Heiko Lake. As you can see, it's snow on the bank. It's cold. But we're going to catch some today. It's going to happen. They will bite. Rig up a couple of rods here before I get going. Okay, guys, I pull up this first spot and mark a lot of fish right here, but nothing. End up not catching any fish off of this first spot, which is the hot hole discharge on Heiko. So make a little move here. You can see that snow on the bank. It's you know it's cold in. I think I ended up catching around 25 or so fish right here, throwing an A-rig. Never really any big ones though. Still a lot of fun. I'll fish my Alabama rig usually is I'll throw it out and let it sink all the way to the bottom and then have a slow steady retrieve coming back. I fish it on a 6 to 4 ratio Abu Garcia real 20 pound mono. You don't ever have a problem with the mono doubling back in the rig and kinking or anything like that. And I've tried throwing it on fluorocarbon and broke them off, broke them off on cast and everything else and mono just seems to be the way to go when throwing an Alabama rig for me. On this cast right here I ended up catching a double. Which is my first one in a long time. That's crazy. I think I done caught. I think I done caught one every cast for about 20 casts. I come across this area, popular area in this lake, and uh, a lot of fish here. And started off at that one little spot and caught one. Picked up this A rig and come across this point right here and catch them almost every cast now. They're spread out all in this area here. Just need to see if we can find a big one.
come back. Got it. I got off. I was catching a lot of fish on that Alabama rig, and I picked up a single swim bait, throwing it around some just to see if I could generate a different bite. And picked up a jig, and I started throwing it. And don't mind my backlash. I I just oiled all of my reels and cleaned them and disassembled them, and never did tighten up anything on it throw out there and have a big old bird's nest first cast with it. They end up catching one on this cast, pretty decent fish. That is a homemade jig that I've made, put the color together and everything. It's always been a good cold water jig for me over the past few years. This is the very next cast. End up catching another one on this one. That's a smaller fish, but... Just back to back cast throwing that jig on some rocks. This is where it starts to get interesting. I, I see a rock pile out off the bank, I'm gonna say 35, 40 foot away from the bank. It's probably in. 14 foot of water and I tell myself I was like I know it's a fish on there sure enough first cast throw out there fish bites it that's another pretty decent one right here I'm going down this bank of ways and see another isolated pile of rock out off the bank and this type of stuff I was targeting and catching better fish off of it. I mean, it's rock piles probably 10 foot square, just a little hard piece of bottom. Bringing that jig through there, and this is definitely the best clip of the day right here. That ALX rod, that thing is loaded up. Yep, definitely better fish on that cast. Had my camera off charging, I was going to mount it on my chesty mount, and I pulled back up to the original area that I was fishing to start with, and I catch this one. They they tearing that jig up at this point. And by this time, I've probably caught ten to fifteen fish on it. And this is a good one right here. I'm I'm still fishing the same spot, and the wind's kind of to my back right here, so I'm drifting. So I let the boat drift across this flat, and I throw the jig back out there and. You can see my hands in my pockets. My hands have then got cold. It's 32 degrees outside at this moment. I'm putting my gloves on. And when I stand up to check my jig, I throw it out in probably 20 foot of water. He's got it. This ends up being the best fish of the day for me. 
just on a kind of streak of luck of having my hands <laughs> having my hands be cold and letting my jig sit out there a little longer I guess than moving it you know than making the cast and moving it you know all right guys thanks for watching uh tune in this week i'll be headed to chickamauga fish the bfl new body of water for me but i heard it's the land of the giants so we'll find out and always remember if you don't catch them Somebody else going to show them to you at 3 o'clock. You can guarantee that. Peace out, guys. Catch you on the flip side.